Hey everyone, One Dragon here. Today, what we're going to take a look at in patch 1.2 of Cyberpunk 2077 is the changes to clothing vendors. We're specifically going to look at each of the clothing vendors and discuss their locations and what their inventory might have. And we'll see whether or not their inventory does reflect, you know, the area that they're in. My plan is to delete all the items that I have equipped and I'll also uh, I'll just keep maybe the Johnny items and then I will buy all of the legendary items from those stores and then showcase them all at the end. Okay the first location that we're going to look at is this clothing vendor in north side of Watson and we can see just on the outside that this is definitely a maelstrom or scav area. However, this is also sort of close to the Arasaka waterfront, so we might have some guards or maybe some NCPD PD clothing in here as well. Oh, so this is a good time for you then? Hola! Okay, so we've got some interesting clothing here. These are NCPD Clothing, maybe Arasaka guards wear them as well. And we've definitely got some scav legendary clothing here. And biker pants too. Okay, and we've, yep, definitely some scav related stuff there. So we've put some of the clothing on, got the scav looking upper body jacket, got those pants and these I wear. I also have this coat. Oh. Okay, the next vendor that we're looking at is this one in Kabuki, still in Watson. Now in this area we have the Mox just over there as well as Regina's uh, Merc group there too. Killer it does! Now this guy says it's a strip store. Oh my god, we've got this one. It's a literally says it looks like it'll give you diabetes. Um, we've got this green fluoro colored nanocarbon flight jacket and some interesting sneakers and a skirt there as well. We've definitely got some police ballistic vests here are kind of cool and we've got some street wear as well so I'd say this is a combination of definitely like thrift story we've got street wear some nice looking chest pieces as well as some very fluoro bright colored legendaries which might be um, tied into like maybe how the mocks looks but I'm not sure <laughs> so when I put them on it looks ridiculous it's great um, we've got this green fluoro, pink fluoro, the skirt, and then these sneakers. I'm gonna have some fun running around looking like this now. Alright, next vendor. Alright, we're on to the next vendor now. Now this one's in Little China in Watson still. And we have a very middle class area with like a trauma team hospital here. Um, some skyrise buildings, but at the same time, we're not in like the scav area where it's sort of like factories and run down, but it's not like super posh like some of the other areas. Alright, so this guy has, as we suspected, like sort of a mix of clothing. Maybe like pretty stylish, but not like full corpo clothing compared to some of the other vendors. Um, we've got these nice looking aviators, a blue vest type thing, pants there, and these sneakers look kind of cool with the golden laces. Alright, we've also got Kang Tao and military vests. But yeah, like maybe like a middle class, class working area. We've got like a mix of sort of corpo, but not exactly. 
next to a trauma team hospital. So this is what our character sort of looks like in the new clothes. The sneakers look really cool. Um, lots of pink and blue. The aviators are a little bit more golden. Probably be better to show this in photo mode, actually. Maybe I should be doing that instead. Yeah, there we go. The next area that we're taking a look at is the clothing vendor in Japantown in Westbrook. Now, this area has a obviously a Japanese cultural presence here, so somewhat of a hybrid between Japan and America in cyberpunk in the future. And we've got, oh, this is cool. I really like this Kabuto helmet. I don't think I've seen that one before. Um, this red mask we can get in Legendary now. Not sure if you could. This mesh tracksuit and some cool new sneakers. But we can see these sort of jackets are around everywhere. The cyberpunk jackets. But we've definitely got some Asian fashion here with Rising Sun shirts as well as these puffer jackets that we sometimes see in Asian fashion. But yeah, definitely a the Japanese influence, of course, in Japantown. But as we can see here, got some very cool clothing. Move the menu out of the way there. The next area that we're taking a look at is the clothing vendor in Charter Hill in Westbrook. And this area again has some Japanese influences as well, except this time it's got a upper class corpo presence here. So it's sort of like a hybridization between those two things. Konnichiwa. Okay, we've got that headpiece there. This I've already seen and looks really cool. Um, some definitely corpo looking clothes here. As we can see by all the blazers, some vests, and these dress shirts with ties and bow tie stuff. So definitely tons of formal wear, corpo looking kind of stuff. This jacket is really cool. You can sort of see here the rose pattern that's on there. And we'll actually take it off to showcase the shirt a little bit better. And we kind of we zoom in a bit more. So this looks cool too. You can see that's very detailed. One of the amazing things about Cyberpunk, how detailed the clothing is. So this time we're in Arroyo in Santo Domingo. And this area, as you can see, is definitely factory based. We've got a lot of workshops and stuff and literally this Marketplace is called the Manufactory. We're expecting a lot of working clothes here. Um, there are some like rock concert and six street gangs, just some gang violence around the okay, area too. I really need to see this. She looks interesting, like an interesting character. All right, we've got this tactical helmet. Makes sense for the area. We've got plenty of Militech guard stuff. Um, what do we have? Military glasses, working vests. We got some torn shirts, which makes sense in a gang area. Actually, have some Mox shirts, which is interesting. Um, Gold Fury Neotech bulletproof pants. Some interesting looking boots. And this is more of what I was expecting. Some NUSA crafting recipes here. But yeah, definitely a, oh, I forgot about this one as well, scab combat shirt. So definitely a working glass area with plenty of factories around. Okay, and we can see the clothing here. Looks kind of cool. That symbol on the back. I don't exactly recognize it, but it looks like Skull. Oh, it's definitely scav related, right? We're at the next location, which is in Rancho Coronado. 
and we're still in Santo Domingo. Now this area has a whole bunch of industry and then there's also some like ruined suburban areas here but we can see here Arasaka Industrial Park um, plenty of mega buildings and stuff here too so there's quite a lot of industry in the area and like plenty of construction over in that direction too and that's what we have immediately we have some Corpo Kang Tao stuff here some old plastic gas masks berry frost trench coat with protective mesh and we've got plenty of Arasaka guard stuff here too maelstrom tagged <laughs> so gang tagged vests as well very interesting gear now obviously there's plenty of gang violence everywhere and heat resistant tactical pants so here we've got a combination of uh six street gangs we've got plenty of industrial areas pretty cool there we go all right the next area that we're taking a look at is actually outside the city in the outskirts at the trailer park now i imagine this place might have some like border guard gear as well as maybe some nomad gear since they don't have a specific vendor take a look and maybe some gear we can expect to see in a trailer park. So here we go. We've got Western stuff. Okay, a cowboy hat. We've got this very popular looking vest. Um, some shorts, work shorts, and utility pants there. So we've definitely got some tactical gear here. And that would make sense because we have... Militech and Biotechnica in the area. Plenty of torn clothing here. Maybe that's because we're in a trailer park. So this is the look of the clothing. I didn't put the shorts on. Alrighty, we're in the next area in West Wind Estate in Pacifica. Now, I expect this place to have a lot of animal gang related gear as well as voodoo boy related gear too because this is sort of a lawless area where the ncpd doesn't even go according to the story so let's check it out and yes that's confirmed now i remember getting this legendary from sasquatch a animal boss these we can also get from sasquatch I believe we can actually craft these, but it's kind of cool there. So we can see in the other clothing, so these hot pants, we can see in this other clothing that we've got some net running gear, which makes sense. It relates to the Voodoo Boys. Lots of hoodies and stuff that you would see either the animals or the Voodoo Boys wearing. Maybe some other gangs like scabs are in the area. <laughs> I mean, those hot pants though, and that coat looks actually kind of cool. It's got like a bulldog on it there. Okay, we're now in the next area, which is Wellsprings Haywood, and I'm completely expecting there to be Valentino gear here. And that's what it looks like. We can see that we've got gear that we would typically see on Valentino characters. Here is some of the gear. We have the Valentino jacket that's gold right there. We've got the boots and there's also a vest which we bought. There we go. Vest that we sometimes see. And we also have this jumpsuit as well I believe. There we go. That's better view. Corpo Plaza in city center. It's right next to the park, so obviously we're expecting a ton of Corpo stuff here. And that's exactly what we have. We have Kangtao here. We've got this golden chest piece as well as Psycho's prototype tactical Aramid breastplate. Look at these shoes. They're white and have gold plating on it 
and we have plenty of formal wear. Tons of corporate formal wear, dress shirts, and so on. Lots of gold, plenty of shiny stuff, very wealthy looking. Alright, so this is what the gear looks like. Look at their shoes. They're gold plated. And we're swapping in this menu because we've got this to swap and it's easier. Oops. There we go. White and gold vest. Okay, we're at the final clothing store in downtown city center, Jinguji. As expected from Jinguji, we've got a lot of very colorful corpo gear. Sort of similar to the last place we were in the city center. Very fancy looking stuff. Okay, we're starting with this jacket here. It's cool, very reflective. We've got other jacket. Hunk on the back. I believe we had this dress as well. I um, need to zoom out to look at that. <laughs> Um, and we also had ED wreath, but it is shiny and gold plated as well. It's not just your ordinary BD wreath. I've bought, I think, all of the legendary items from the main clothing vendors that are there. Now I'm going to showcase all of them category by category. Now keep in mind that obviously with good builds you don't need to have legendary armor, but you know, I understand people want to go for those stats anyway. And with this chain, clothing vendors scaling with your level, then you don't necessarily need to craft your own and you can buy these legendaries whenever you want. That's a good step forward. Not only that, but they have maximum mod slots as well, which if you're into crafting, you should know that armadillo mods provide you with most of the armor anyway. So all you really need are the maximum slots, which you can get at, I think, almost any level. In this video, I mainly focused on the legendary stuff, and I did look at some of the items that are non-legendary as well. But please remember that you can re-roll by skipping time or just reloading saves. So check out their full inventory by doing that by the store. The headpieces, there were five in total that we've got here. I wear you can see we had seven there the upper body there were a ton of seventeen there shirts we only had two of these the lower body There were 10 pieces there for the shoes. We had seven. There we go. Hopefully you guys found this useful, showcasing all the vendors and discussing what to expect in each of the locations. If you'd like to see more cyberpunk stuff, feel free to check out my videos and subscribe to the channel. Thanks everybody. See you later, chooms.